Okay, so I'm back now and I have um, all three of my slides created. And on each slide, I've created a caption and I've added uh, just some random image I found off the internet. Uh, you should have done that already too. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos um, regarding this custom post type, uh, what we've done so far is we've edited our functions.php file and created the slides with the uh, register post type function. And then we used our advanced custom fields plugin to add some custom fields uh, to each post or each slide post type. Now what we need to do is, um, I'm going to log out because I'm going to go back. Uh, we need to loop through our newly created slides and uh, we need to show the actual content. Now this is done pretty easily. Um, you can do this with the loop. Uh, WordPress standard loop and that's how I'm gonna do it you can have multiple loops per page um, it's just set up a little bit differently now I'm already here at our code for the slider and uh, what you can see here is we have three very similar items uh, appropriately named item for each class and what we need to do is uh, delete these two and uh, we're going to use this first one uh, as sort of a template for our loop. Now setting up a loop for a uh, another query is pretty easy. First thing we need to do is um, create a new WordPress query. So I'm going to do new and create a variable, call it new query. Set that equal to new and I'm going to use uh, WP query class. First, I'm going to spell it right and close that with a semicolon. Now, within this, this is kind of like the query post uh, function that we use right here. Um, so, uh, it's set up kind of the same. Down here, we're going to put, uh, or exactly, actually in there, we're going to put post type. And the post type we created was slides. Um, I think it's just slide. And then uh, post per page, post underscore per underscore page equal to, and uh, we'll set that to negative one. So we can have as many slides as we want. And that's how it'll be set up. Um, next thing, so excuse me, next thing we'll need is a while loop. Oops. And I'll put while. And then um, within that, I'm going to have while new query, new underscore query, have post. So you can see it's kind of set up like a new standard loop. And then new query, the post. Let's see, underscore post. Uh, close that with a semicolon and, uh, and then down here just below our item can open up PHP tag again and I'm just gonna put in while close that with the semicolon so we've had it we created a new query and these are this is what we want to query is our slides post type and we'll have unlimited slides and then we loop through uh, the post and while we have posts we're gonna show these um, we created custom fields with our plugin, so we need to call those here. The first one is our image. So we're going to take this placeholder code and we're going to put PHP the field. Oops. And this field was called um, slide image. Okay. And then for the alt, we can put. Uh, I'll put the title, for the title of the page. And then I'll also use the title down here in this H4 tag. And then inside this P tag, I'm going to put um, our second field that we created, which I believe was called 
of slide caption. So now I'm going to save it and I'll go back to my browser and refresh it. And as you can see, we have a totally busted slide. But uh, nevertheless, we're calling all three of them from our custom post type, and we'll fix this in a minute. 